<coughs> hello everyone so uh today i want to emphasize i want to teach you on how to set up your clone cloning app for you to be able to clone fiverr your freelancing app your fiverr app on your phone you know recently the the uh, old, older version we are able to clone the older version of fiverr but recently when the new version is coming up i think we were unable to clone the new version because if we clone it we experience the uh, option of crashing so we see that the, the app do crash and we are unable to launch our fiverr account on the clone app on some phones so because i think we have different version of phones so some phones does not support the uh cloning so but if you try this option out then it's gonna work for your phone so now the app we always use for cloning the those our uh, apps which is the fiverr accounts is known to be okay let me add to is known known to be cloning clone clone app yeah clone app um clone app um so yeah you can see clean app so if you don't have the uh, app on your phone i think you can just add to either you add to play store or you add to so i think we were unable to get the option on on play store okay because if we go on play store we we'll have the option of downloading the uh, ads type app so instead of that i think you, you can just add to okay hold on okay instead of that you can just add to your chrome browser then in your chrome browser then you can be able to download it so i've downloaded my suggestion to show you now you can download the app on your phone so now once you just go to clone clone app uh, so then you see the option of downloading the clone app apk which is the application file so what here is the so here is the option of the clone app where you can download it this is the logo so, so when you click on it then it will so let's hold on for it to load so you have the option of cloning your app easily without it crashing whenever you want to launch your account on phone so you won't be having the option and as well it will it will not affect your account for because you know recently when you clone your phone your app on your phone you have uh, you experience blockage but there are some settings you will set up on the cloning app that will not allow them to uh disturb you so you know you have the option okay let me go back to where i started so now once you click so now i came here i click on this app cloner so i came to their menu i click on their website so then you have the option of downloading the app cloner so when you click on download app then you will be able to download it on your phone so now heading back to my because i have the app already on my phone so i don't need to download again so the app cloner so this is the app cloner app so now once you launch your app cloner so now when you want to you can use it on your new version of fiverr are you getting so you don't you don't need to download other fiverr app so you can just go and update your fiverr app on your play store so after you update your fiverr on play store so now after you come come on to the app cloner arm so the app you want to clone so make sure you click on it now we are cloning the app of fiverr so now once i click on fiverr then you can see that i've already cloned an app before so that's why i wrote two so now if i want to clone the app now these are the settings i must do before i clone the app now i will add down to these options so now on these options now the first thing i will add on to is the, the privacy option so now once i click on privacy option so on privacy option then i'm going to activate three things on this privacy option so now i'm going to activate this change android id so i must activate it now once i click on it it will bring this option so it will bring no change random custom and not recommended there's an option that not recommended so you must trigger the button on so now once it commands this one make sure you click on random 
once you click on random you come to this not recommended then you click the drop down so after you click the drop down it will bring this option Gen generate a new random id then you click you make sure you mark it so after you mark it then you click ok you, you add on to this change i m e i slash i m s i so you click on it as well you do the same thing as well so you click on random you click on not recommended and you uh, toggle on this generate new random id on so once you do that then you click okay so now the third one here is the same thing you did to this one as well you run you click on random you make sure you mark the option of random and as well you click on the not recommended drop down then you can generate new random id during the cloning process then you click ok so now we are done with we are done with the privacy option then you go back to the options then you go to storage the next one you go to the storage options now once you click on storage options you are only activating one option in this storage options then what will you activate it is the prompt to keep up so the prompt to keep up this you can see that after good plan so you make sure you put it on so after that you head back to your options again to your settings then you go back to when you stroke down you see the option of developer option when you click on develop op developer option then you are going to activate only one as well which is the android version so once you click on the android version now all this you will see different options in this android version but when you want to edit make sure you put 12 in the sdk uh, edit it to 12 you can see that there is an option for you to edit so you edit it to 12 the sdk in edit it to 12 as well then you come down to release you edit it to 12 as well then the security patch option you put these dates the date that you see that's 2023 05 you are going to activate it there that's what you have the date that's the date you are going to put there so after you've done that then you click ok as well then after that the last option you are going to activate is the the cloning option the cloning option now you are going to activate four things in this cloning option you can see it under here then once you click on cloning option then it, you see the clone mode then you are going to click on the manifest so then you toggle it on same thing as this keep skip native libraries to make sure you toggle it on ignore crashes so this is the option for you not for you to ignore the crashes so because whenever you clone the app you experience the option of uh, crashes so this is where you are going to ignore the crashes so you toggle the ignore crashes on then you come down to the last option which is the save mode and then you're going to activate the save mode as well so once you activate it now the reason why we we triggered on this developer option whereby we have the android version here is because of the cloning because of different apps you want to you want to clone so that you will not be having the issue of okay i think it's under is it under here i think it's under this storage option okay, no, no, no. it's under this privacy option okay now the, the change android id and the change imei so this is the option for you not to have issue with your account either your account being flagged for multiple accounts on phone when you log in your phone on and uh, log in your fiverr account on phone you won't be able to get account blockage because of the activation of these two things i guess what i'm saying so that's why yeah i think the three things which is the change wifi mac address so it's going to be changing your address as well the wifi address maybe you connected to a wifi network and you don't want to have an account blockage stuff like that so then you're going to this thing is going to automatically be changing your addresses so that you'll not be having a account issue same thing with this this imei as well so you won't be having the option of uh of account blockage anymore with this cloning option and once you've done that then you head back to your to the app you want to clone then make sure you clone number edit this to two if you are cloning the first first app you will see one there before it don't click on one make sure you increase it to two so after you place it to two then click ok so now edit the name as well if you want to edit the name so now after edit, editing the name if you want to change the color of the app you can change the color of the app so and after you have done you are done with that so for example maybe i want to add another 
account i'll just click on pity you know I've, I've done the settings already so i don't need to do any settings anymore so now i want to maybe the fiverr account stay so i want to clone the app after i've done everything so this is what i'm going to do because there's something you, you ought to do when you want to uh, activate the app so now let's say fiverr account theory fiverr okay fiverr account theory fiverr account theory so now i'm going to change the color as well i want to change the color of the of the app okay so then i'm going to clone so now along the line when i'm cloning so it will bring an option so i will show you where you are going to so now click on the install app after clicking on install app then it will bring do you want to install this app yeah click install so now it will bring an option here now so don't click on install directly can you see okay this is on save app blocker so don't click ok directly click on install click on the drop down you can see where i click on the option of the drop down so after you click on the drop down make sure you click on install anyway don't click on ok directly click on install anyway so after you click on install anyway so you, your app will not be crashing anymore when you want to launch your account so let's let's see if the app will crash or not so now i'm going to launch the launch the app so after i launch the app just click on ok so you can see that the app is loading so and i can sign in easily so you can see i can sign in into the app any anytime so you can see that we don't have the option of of the app crashing anymore so that's how you clean your app on phone i can have different account on, on your phone again so thanks have a nice day